This is the dash of the 2000 Dodge Stratus and the problem with this car was the temperature control wasn't working. Uh, all it would do is put out hot air, no cold air. Um, to fix this, it turns out, depending on your problem, it might be really easy as mine was. Uh, the first thing you have to do, and I've had this out already so some of it's going to come apart a little easier, is you remove this bezel. Of course, it's got the usual clamps on it. And then what you need to do is take the radio out. And to do that, there's two bolts, one, or nuts, bolts right here and up here. Up in that corner right there. And I'll pause while I take those out. With the bolts removed, um, it's a simple matter of pulling out the radio. And again, I've had this out so the wires are already disconnected. But there's um, two plug-ins plus the antenna. And you can see those here, they're color-coded. One's gray, one's black, and the antenna. No problem. Now, if you have the same problem I had, you look in here and you'll see at the back, I'll turn the knob, and as I'm turning the knob you can see the cable moving. The problem with mine was that little lever where the cable connects had broken off. There's a little hole and a tab at the end of it and it broke off. So I had to pull it out and replace it. Um, I didn't have a replacement so I, re I made a fix. I repaired it and uh, put it back in. So let me show you what else you need to do. There's only three things you have to remove in order to uh, basically get back to that lever. The major components is of course the radio, the bezel that I already took off. Down below here you'll have to take out the uh, cigarette lighter and little puka. And to do that you're going to have to remove these three screws down here and one up here and one over here. And that'll allow you to loosen the dash enough to reach the two screws that are holding in the cigarette lighter assembly. With those five screws removed, you can now access that screw there at the end of my finger and the one over on the other side, right over there. And once you get those removed, you'll now be able to come down here and pull out the cigarette lighter and the little puka there. And you'll need that access to uh, manipulate the part that's in here that has to move. Um, I'll pull this out of the way. What you're going to have to do is this shroud right here. Um, let me get the light and see if I can shine a little better. Nothing's easy when I only got two hands. Okay, the shroud back there, that black one that goes from there across to there, it's got two bolts on it, and you'll have to remove that to get access to the arm that you're going to remove. The two bolts, one of them is up here. And right there, you'll see it just above and to the right of the gear. And the other one, let me see, uh, I'll have to get to that and I'll show you in a minute. Once you get the cigar lighter out of the way, um, you'll be able to access, you can see right there where it's really bright, I'll get off the side, that screw right there is the second one on the shroud that has to be removed, or at least lowered. Once you have the two bolts holding the shroud in place, you can just grab it from below and pull it down and out. Um, you only have to lower it enough to access the screw that the uh, lever pivots on. And I have another video um, I'll edit into that so you can see it. And then it's just a matter of putting it back together. So again, to summarize, the important thing is you don't have to remove much. Uh, the bezel that goes on the front, the radio, um, the cigarette lighter part down here, and that shroud has to be lowered down. You don't have to remove it. You just have to lower it out of the way so you can access the lever. Pull the lever out. And if you can find one online, I found one. Uh, Dodge doesn't carry it anymore, so you'd be hard-pressed to find one. But I did find one at Mopar Parts Giant, I think was the name of it. I'll put it in the comments. This is you can see the shroud, and it's going to fit against the back as well as the top. Once I get it in place, there's two tabs to put a screw. One is over here by my thumb, another one is down the bottom. The temperature control, this one right here, if you look in the back you can see there's a cable 
it moves up and down and you turn it. What happened was the lever that that attaches to uh, had a tab on it and it broke. And you can see what I've done here. I've attached a piece of plastic and uh, to reestablish the uh, hole. Okay, uh, I'm going to try and do this. You uh, have to stick the, um, the rod in the hole and then rotate it up. And I probably have it the wrong way. Yep. Okay, I got it ready to go, so I've stuck it in the end, and now with one hand trying to twist it up. Ah, uh, fell off. Crap. Okay, after a little bit of struggling, I finally got it hooked on there, and you can see the lever turns the gears, it turns the door itself. Now all I have to do is put a screw, um, in there and that'll hold the arm in place. Oh, uh, you can see that it's in place and if you look closely you'll see that it's a T20 Torx drive or star drive.